How do you make the molecular orbital diagram for the H2 minus ion? Start by drawing in the highest energy atomic orbitals associated with the individual hydrogen atoms. By looking at the periodic table and the electron configuration for hydrogen, we see that it is 1s1, and the highest energy atomic orbital is right here as the 1s atomic orbital. So we will draw in our 1s orbitals for each hydrogen atom as lines at the same energy level and then place 1s beneath the hydrogen. Then we'll need to draw in our molecular orbitals. And for the H2 minus ion, and for H2 in general, it has two molecular orbitals. So we'll draw these in. One is higher in energy than the atomic orbitals, and one is lower in energy. So we'll draw lines connecting the atomic orbitals to these individual molecular orbitals associated with H2 minus. Then, just like you would with an energy level diagram or an electron configuration diagram, you need to draw in your valence electrons for the atomic orbitals and the molecular orbitals. So how many valence electrons does each individual hydrogen atom have? Each one has one individual valence electron. That would make two for H2 in general. However, this is H2 minus, so we need to add one more to the two electrons, plus one more electron makes three electrons. And so we will fill in next to H2 minus. It has a total of three valence electrons that we need to use to fill in our diagram. And you fill in these diagrams just as you would with an electric configuration or an energy level diagram, according to the off bow principle, the Pauli exclusion principle, and Hund's rule. So we'll start by filling in one electron for the hydrogen on this side, and then draw that in again. And then for the hydrogen on the other side, we can draw in two. And it doesn't matter which side you um put the second electron on either side works uh, and then these electrons will fall down into this lower molecular orbital and first we need to actually fill in the names of these molecular orbitals the bottom one is called a bonding molecular orbital it is lower in energy and it's called the sigma 1s molecular orbital and at the top this is called our anti-bonding molecular orbital and it is this notation is the sigma 1s star antibonding molecular orbital. So according to the off bow principle, we need to fall to lower in energy with these electrons to begin with, and each molecular orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons. So we will fill in two electrons here, and then the last remaining electron in this hydrogen atom on the right will rise up to the antibonding molecular orbital, and we'll place one electron there. And this is your completed molecular orbital diagram for the H2 minus molecule. Now, what is the bond order with the H2 minus molecule? Bond order measures the strength of a bond in a molecule and is directly related to its stability and the number of electron pairs present. The formula for bond order is one half times the number of bonding electrons minus the number of anti-bonding electrons present. In the case of H2 minus, we have two bonding electrons in the bonding molecular orbital and one anti-bonding electron in the antibonding molecular orbital. So we can now calculate our bond order. One half times the bonding electrons, or two, minus the antibonding electrons, which is one, is equal to one half times one, which is equal to one half. Now, is the H2 minus molecule paramagnetic, meaning it is attracted to an external magnetic field, or is it diamagnetic, meaning it is repelled by an external magnetic field? Because the H2 minus molecule has unpaired electrons in the antibonding molecular orbital, this means that the H2 minus molecule will be paramagnetic. And again, this means the H2 minus will be weakly attracted to an external magnetic field. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.